So we got L'Oreal, High Bean, and then we also have Black Solution. So um, all of these are pretty much, they pretty much are the same. They don't last as long. These, for me, I feel like these um, enhancements last the least out of all the enhancements, mainly because um, it's, it's spray, so it kind of wipes right off or washes right off. So um, for me, I feel like the, the spray lasts the least, but I started off using these because this was the only thing that was on the market when I, when I first started using enhancements. And the main reason for me utilizing the spray is because um, it gives off like a matte look, matte black or a matte brown look. So when I'm when I'm actually doing the lower the lower units that consists of me using the braiding hair or the crochet hair, um, that hair is synthetic, so it gets off like a shiny type of look. So I get to dilute that shiny look with the um, enhancements that are matte. My second one I use is the fibers. So. are using hair fibers um for me i feel like you know i've, I've tried different types of hair fibers um initially i started with topic but now i only use hair illusion um and if you are using hair fibers um please try to if you like it on yourself please try and use the applicator um trying to do it with just the actual that is it's, it's a little messy so if you are applying this to your own hair uh try to use the applicator it's a little bit easier now for hair illusion, um, I, the reason why I use hair, hair, hair illusion over the other brands is because a hair illusion looks very realistic once you apply it to the scalp. So uh, the thing with this is um, the hair, the, the hair fibers are meant to cling on to your hair with some holding spray. So meant to cling on to your hair and just make that thin area look a little bit fuller. Again, I said, if, you, um, if you're bald in that area, it will not last long. If you're thinning in that area, then it's a possibility that it might last a little bit longer just because it has something to hold on to. Um, now, I did do a video on the difference between hair illusion and topic. Um, and I'll have the link in the bottom below so you guys can check that video out. Video it um, at home if you need to just fill in some certain areas. Um, and this goes for women. And uh, my third that I use is 
dye, the well is hair dye. So two different ways that you can apply it. You can apply it with your small brush, or you can apply it with a air compressor. Uh, this is a handheld air compressor, and I also have a, a bigger air compressor that I use. Um, I use for at the shop or I use for uh, my stationary uh, location. Um, how we utilize this is we use this, this like I said, it's to fill in thin areas or ball areas and um, just give it a fuller look. So um, some guys use other dyes, but these are the enhancements that I use and I prefer. So with Kiss Express, it's a little bit thick. So um, what I have to do is I have to dilute it with, with water or alcohol just to, get, just to apply it to my client's head without it looking so thick or giving off a real dark look. Um, and for the G14, for me, I feel like the G14 is already kind of like diluted as I needed to. So basically, I can just kind of pour it in whatever contraption I'm pouring it into and I'm able to apply it. My, the last uh, enhancement that I use is eyeliner. <laughs> Eyeliner for a few different reasons. So I use it for a uh, fill in uh, thin areas. If the, if the area is pretty big, I won't use a, um, a actual eyeliner because it'll it'll look obvious. If it's a small area, I'll definitely use the eyeliner, or I'll use this um, this black eyes um, detail kit, which is also kind of like this but it's just in a, a gel form. So it's an eyeliner gel, um, and it has like a little applicator brush inside of it, and you can kind of utilize that and just fill in your, in your little areas that are thin. I started using enhancements when I first started um, cutting professionally, um, mainly because I had clients who were thinning or um, having ball spots, they wanted to disguise. So um, enhancements been working for me for you know a while up until I started doing the hair replacement. So um, even when I do the hair replacement, sometimes I'll still utilize my enhancements just to give a clean look, or maybe just to fill in some areas that are thin, or maybe I'll pick and choose which one I want to use for each individual client. Um, it all depends on they'll be able to maintenance uh, whatever enhancement that I'm that I'm putting on their head. I, for me, I feel like I deal with so many different people, so many different heads, so different, so many different types of skin that. I, I make sure that I know all the enhancements that are available and I make sure that I know how to utilize all the enhancements that, that are available.